Hey guys, this here is Stu and today we review the LEGO Marvel Super Heroes Avengers Infinity War Thor's Weapon Quest. So this is the box right here, and uh, as you can see, it's recommended for the Sixer Craft and this set 76102, and comes with a creamy fix, which are Thor, Groot, and Rocket. Uh, so does have a pretty nice uh, box art here, and you got uh, Thanos at the corner. So this is the top, uh, it shows you the actual size of Groot. So this is the side, it shows you Thanos with the Infinity Gauntlet. And this is the other side, it shows you the front box art. So this is the back, uh, it shows you all of the features and uh, they do have this uh, Thanos with the Infinity Gauntlet uh, at the corner. So this is the instruction manual right here and uh, this is the first page. It shows you, uh, does have numbered backs. And this is the first part, and this is the final part. And here you got advertisement for uh, other two sets, which are the Hulk Buster Smash Up and the uh, Thanos Ultimate Battle set. But um, for some reason, they didn't show off the other, the rest of the sets. But um, does have a Lego Life ad, and uh, here you got all the parts list. But aside from that, that's pretty much it. So these are all of the extra pieces right here. So you have these Infinity Stones, uh, which come in every Infinity War set. And you have two of these Technic pieces. Uh, you got a connector, and you got this um, Axo uh, piece in red. And you got two of these uh, cheese loaf, uh, one in orange and the other one in this blue grayish color. And you got uh, two of these one by one uh, plates, one in uh, silver and the other one in green. You got this uh, minific uh, handle piece with a bar at the bottom. Uh, and you got this uh, Cree branch tough piece. You got Cree extra. Uh, three extra studs for the stud shooters and you got two of these studs with uh, holes in them uh, in black and blue you got uh, two of these modified pieces they come in gold and uh, black you got this stud shooter piece and aside from that uh, that's pretty much it for all of the extra pieces so first off for figures uh, this is Thor so he comes with two of these transparent pieces uh, which are to hold the power blast pieces which I will show, show you later. Uh, and he does come with uh, this very nice uh, hair piece and uh, the face print is the normal uh, Thor face print. And the torso here, uh, you got a lot of uh, lining details and stuff and uh, it looks really nice. Uh, you got six of these uh, round thingies and with a blue tint to them which does look pretty good and uh, he does have black uh, gloves but he doesn't have any uh, leg print thing but this is the back uh, does look pretty good as well and this is the back facial print thing uh, he has the lightning powers uh, activated and uh, it, he has his angry expression so that's pretty much it for Thor and the second figure here is Groot so he has this uh, vine piece on his hand which is pretty cool and uh, he does have a very nice uh, head mold here I believe that is new and uh, he does have a uh, expression on there uh, with the eyes and stuff and it does look pretty good and the torso printing you got uh, a lot of like kind of wood texture I guess and you got some kind of leaf at the sides I guess and he does look pretty good uh, no leg printing for him but this is the back you got uh, very similar printing to the front with uh with all uh, the shapes that look like a Cree. So yeah. Uh but aside from that, that's uh, pretty much it for group. And the final figure here is Rocket Raccoon. So he is armed with uh this blaster, uh which is an alien conquest pistol with this uh barrel. Uh but the rest of the figure it is not new. Uh he does have a very nice uh, head mold here with a smile on the face. And yeah, um the mold is uh, pretty good. As you can see the torso here is the same jumpsuit from the uh Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2 and 
he does have a zip in the middle and some zips on the sides and he does have some straps as well and uh, I really like the blue color on the uh, on the shirt and yeah uh, this is the back he does have uh, his tail piece and uh, this is his back torso printing which does have a lot of straps as well and uh, this blue vest but aside from that that's pretty much it for Rocket Raccoon so these are all of the Power Blast uh, pieces and uh, there's uh, 10 of them in this set but the rest of them they are in the build but uh, you do have uh, two of these kind of fireball pieces which are uh, my favorite out of the bunch and uh, they do look pretty good and they can just fit on the hand of the figure and uh, they do also have this star shape shield which you can hold and uh, I guess it could be a blast as well and you have uh, these uh, blast pieces you got uh, two of these smaller ones and you got two of these bigger ones and they do look pretty good and you can use them uh, on whichever way you want so yeah uh, and you can you can put them on uh, Thor's uh, attachment piece on his hand uh, just like this and they do look pretty good on him but um, yeah aside from that that's uh, pretty much it for all of the power blast pieces included in this set so these are all of the builds right here uh, so let's start with the smallest one so the first build here I believe this is a weapon forging machine type thing so you have three of these power blast pieces used at the front you got this bar piece which looks cool and you got this uh, shield piece which uh, you can turn turn it around uh, with this knob at the back and you can uh, move it up and down as well which is uh, definitely great and uh, at the side you have this sticker which looks pretty cool I'm not sure what it's supposed to be but it's on both sides and you got this kind of mechanism here with this cray and it and it reveals the Stormbreaker which is um, pretty cool it's uh, very accurate to the movie version and you got the, this hammer uh, at the back you got the axe at the front and you got the Groot's uh, arm at the at the middle and uh, this mechanism here um, it works pretty well and it works pretty smoothly and the uh, and the base here it's uh, translucent so that's cool and at the back you got uh, this power stone uh, which is on a very nice display stand and you can remove it very easily so yeah and the second build here is the escape pod. Um, I'm not quite sure what the real name of this craft is, but um, everyone is calling it the pod. But yeah, so the top here you got uh, two of these stickers, which um, they do look good. And you do have uh, two of these touch shooters, uh, one on each side, so you can uh, fire them pretty easily. And you got uh, these wings that, that you can kind of adjust them so that's cool and you can kind of make them into uh, the landing mode but yeah so the front uh, you got this bubble canopy piece uh, which acts as a windshield and you can open this up because it's on a uh, ratcheted uh, piece and uh, you can uh, get access into the interior so that's cool uh, but yeah so the roof here you can also remove uh, it's only on four studs and you can also get access into the interior and uh, so is the back you you have this transparent uh, rear windshield piece which you can also uh, kind of open up so that's cool and uh, you have uh, four of these crusters uh, which are in purple but they do look pretty good but yeah you have uh, these connecting technic pieces which they are for connecting to the Guardians uh, ship from the Thanos ultimate battle set which I haven't yet uh, yet but yeah so this is the side you got two of these stickers um, they do look good and they add a little bit to the design but uh, you got these kind of wing parts at the bottom as well so that's cool and this is the interior of the craft uh, which there's uh, not much inside really but you can uh, hold Kree figures which is definitely great so the pilot gets uh, two of these uh, two of these joysticks uh, but aside from that uh, the 
there's not much else uh, for the pilot to do for the piloting but the pilot and the first passenger gets uh, two studs and the second passenger gets uh, this modified piece which uh, stuck between the legs so yeah let's put the figures inside so you can fit the figures inside even with their accessories uh, for Rocket and Groot. So that's definitely great. Um, but you can't uh, put Thor's uh, Stormbreaker inside though. But um, yeah, it's fine. Um, the interior here, I'm, I say um, it's pretty big actually. Uh, and yeah, it's definitely great that you can put all of the figures inside. So overall conclusion of this set here. So. How do I think of it? Um, the figures, I think uh, all of the figures here, they are perfect um, except for Thor. Maybe they could have added more detail to him, but um, I mean, he's pretty good. And Rocket, um, I'm fine for them uh, reusing the one from the Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2. Uh, and for Groot, um, it's great that they made a, a new figure and a new head mode for uh, him. And I think the colors here, they are uh, inaccurate, but um, I mean, it's fine. Um, the figure is accurate enough and he does look nice as well. And uh, for the builds, um, I think this um, machine here should be improved. Um, they they could have uh, turned it into another build or maybe added more to the pot. But yeah, uh, speaking of the pot, the pot is uh, perfect. You can fit Kree figures inside. And yeah, I mean, um, this is just a very nice build. And it's also uh, great that you can uh, put it into the Garden's uh, ship. And uh, for the Power Blast pieces, I think they look pretty cool and they are a nice addition to the set. So overall, I think this set here is um, pretty good. Maybe this could have been improved, but um, the rest of the set, I think they are great. And if you uh, want to get the set, I definitely recommend you getting it. So by links to the set down in the description box below, along with all my social media pages down in the description. So if you like my channel, make sure to subscribe right here and watch more videos right here. So that's pretty much it for our video. Thanks for watching and I'll be seeing you very soon.